so Prime Minister Netanyahu on this very subject has conveyed that Israel's intense airstrikes in Gaza mark only the initial phase of the country's response to the Hamas attack. He's also said that Israel's response will quote-unquote change the Middle East. What implications can we draw from this? Is Israel potentially preparing for a broader conflict, perhaps even a ground offensive involving not only Gaza, but potentially the West Bank, Lebanon or even Iran? How should we interpret these developments and statements? No, I don't think anyone wants to make this into uh, all-in-all conflict. Nobody wants to make this. Uh, I mean, we have warned Hezbollah up north in Lebanon from interfering with this. We have warned Iran. We have uh, worked with the Americans and the French, actually, to, to uh, communicate to Iran the fact that they'll better not get involved in this. If we can narrow it down to making sure Hamas is removed from, from Gaza, this will be enough for us. And nobody in his right mind wants to make this into a regional conflict. Right. Also, sir, Israel has implemented a uh, comprehensive blockade of Gaza, effectively halting the supply of essential resources, which includes food, water and electricity. Now, this action has been criticized by many as a collective punishment for the millions of innocent civilians who you mentioned earlier and also appears to be a violation of international humanitarian law is also a view that has been expressed. How do you view this decision and how do you respond to the criticisms and the concerns that it has generated? Well, you should direct this question to Hamas. We told them to get out because we have an operation going on there. We, we didn't want them to be there. We don't want them to be there now. We're willing to be helpful in order to help them go out of the battle zone. And the only people who are keeping them there is Hamas. So you should take the question to Hamas. Take the question to Ikhwe Sinwar. Ask him why is it that they are killing their own people right after they've killed ours. Right. And also, so the presence of hostages, numbering more than 100, including foreign nationals, adds a layer of complexity to the situation. This also poses challenges for any potential Israeli entry into Gaza. How would you suggest handling this extremely delicate and sensitive issue? Well, we will have to deal with this sensitively, as you've said. Uh, we hear horrific stories and we saw horrific pictures of, of rape of of violence against children of beheading of some of the people who got who were captive uh, and we will have to deal with this uh, in a in a very sensitive way and and under the radar not on television if you'll excuse me Absolutely. And in fact, you know, you mentioned beheadings. That's a very important question as well, because uh, the Israel government has put out pictures of the babies being beheaded. And perhaps no words are enough to condemn those shocking acts of brutality and depravity. But the response coming in from Palestine is that there are children who are, in fact, uh, on the Gaza side also, who are amongst those who are being killed. And several of those, in fact, being evacuated also amongst the victims. So how do you respond to this counter coming in from Palestine to the pictures that have been released by Israel? Well, I think my response is how dare they? How dare they make this into an equation? They were, when down, down south, they, they particularly tried to kill our children and behead our children, and now they're preventing their children for leaving, from leaving a better zone just to make sure somebody asked me this question on Indian television. How dare they? It's Hamas's responsibility. It's the, uh, the result of Hamas's actions.